To enable two-factor authentication or 2FA, log into Facebook either on your computer or your mobile phone. I'll demonstrate the process first on desktop and then we'll switch over to mobile. As always, links to skip ahead are in the description below. Having logged in, click on the drop down menu icon and choose settings and privacy, followed by settings. Over in the left hand menu, choose security and logins, scroll down to two factor authentication and click on the edit button. You now have three options. If you don't use a 2FA app such as Authy, Google or Microsoft Authenticator, then your best bet is to set up 2FA using SMS. This means you'll receive a code via SMS each time you log in. This is the least secure method of implementing 2FA because getting access to your SIM card or porting your telephone number is a lot easier than unlocking your phone and getting access to a 2FA app or using a physical security key. Using a physical security key, which is similar to a USB thumb drive, is considered the most secure method, but it's not always practical. So as you can see, the recommended method is to use an app. Having clicked on the app, we're given the usual option to either scan a barcode or enter the key manually. I use Authy, but regardless of which two-factor authentication app you use, you'll have similar options to this, where you can choose between activating the camera in your phone to scan a QR code or entering the code manually. Having scanned the code in Authy, I simply need to give my new 2FA account a name, then back on Facebook if I click continue, I then need to enter the code displayed in the Authy app to synchronize my new account. It's a similar process on mobile. Log into your Facebook mobile app, click on menu in the bottom right corner of the page and scroll all the way down to settings and privacy. Choose settings and again, scroll down to security and choose security and logins. Halfway down the page, we have our two-factor authentication options. I'll choose two-factor authentication, and as with the desktop setup, we have three options. As before, I'll choose to use an app and click continue. Now here is where the process differs slightly. If like me, you're using the 2FA app on the same phone you're logging into Facebook, you can't scan the QR code. So instead, we'll copy the code shown here and paste it into our 2FA app. Back in Authy, I'll choose the option to enter the key manually. Having done that, it's exactly the same process as before. I'll give my new 2FA account a name and enter the PIN shown in Authy into Facebook to finish the process. If I now log out of Facebook and back in again, having entered my credentials, you can see I'm also prompted to enter my 2FA code. Having set up two-factor authentication, it's a good idea to download a copy of your recovery codes and save them somewhere safe. These codes ensure you can still access your Facebook account should you ever lose access to your 2FA app. You can also access them on your mobile phone from the same menu where we set up 2FA. Finally, it's a good idea to log out of Facebook on all your devices. Over time, you can build up quite an extensive list of devices where you've logged into. In the mobile app, you can see where you're logged in here. And you can log out by choosing see all and clicking on the three dots next to each login. So that completes the process of setting up two-factor authentication on your Facebook account. If you missed my video demonstrating how to set up 2FA on your Instagram account, then I recommend watching this. I recently did a video demonstrating how to secure your Instagram account. Of all the tips that I shared in that video, hands down the most important for protecting your account is to enable two-factor authentication, or 2FA to use the abbreviation. You could probably get away with ignoring all the other tips as long as you follow the steps in this video. So without any further waffle, this is how to enable two-factor authentication on your Instagram account. Start by clicking on your profile icon in the bottom corner of the window, followed by the menu icon in the top right corner. In the menu, click on settings, followed by security, and then choose two-factor authentication. After clicking on get started, we're presented with three options. If you don't use a 2FA app and you don't intend to, then choose either WhatsApp or SMS. However, you'll notice that using a two-factor authentication app is recommended as the safest option. For all of my 2FA accounts, I use an app called Authy. If you'd like to know why I chose Authy and how you can start using it, I'll link to a video below. But for now, I'll click on Authentication App. 
At this point, Instagram instructs us to download an app, but when I click on this option, all I get is this, which seems like a bit of a bug. I guess what Instagram is trying to do is open the App Store. If this is your first time setting up 2FA and you don't yet use a 2FA app, my recommendation is to come out of Instagram and go to the App Store, install your 2FA app separately, and then come back to this screen. As I said, I'm already using Authy, so all I need to do is click Set Up Another Way, which provides me with this key, which I can copy into my Authy app. I'll open up Authy, click on Add New Account, and choose Enter Key Manually. Now, regardless of which 2FA app you decide to go with, whether it's Authy, Microsoft, or Google Authenticator, entering a key or scanning a QR code is the standard process. So you should have similar options to what you see here in Authy. I'll paste my code and then I'll choose a logo and give my new 2FA account a name. The final step of syncing my Instagram account with Authy is to enter the next six digit code that appears in Authy. So I'll switch back, wait for the code to change and then enter these six digits into Instagram. And there we have it, 2FA is now set up and you can be confident that your account is now protected against hackers. If we click next, Instagram will provide us with some backup codes. Screenshot or save these somewhere safe because they will allow you to access your Instagram account should you ever accidentally delete your 2FA app. If I log out of Instagram and log back in, you can see I'm prompted for my 2FA code. Having set up 2FA, it's a good idea to log out of Instagram on any other device you might be logged into, such as your laptop, desktop or tablet. To do this, head back into settings, click on security, and this time we're gonna click on login activity. Here is a list of all the devices where you're currently logged into Instagram. Log out of each one by clicking on the three dots and choosing log out. As the prompt warns, if you're not familiar with the session you're logging out of, if you don't recognize the location or the device, you should change your password. Remember, because we've set up 2FA, anyone else trying to log into your account from now on will need that 2FA code, which they won't have, so you are well protected. But if you don't recognize any of these sessions, you should definitely change your password. Visit the website for lots more tips on Facebook and all your favorite apps. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you give me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick videos like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.